All right, so let's add the next page, which is gonna be the results page slash media library for the user. This is definitely gonna be the easiest page we create throughout the whole app. So let's head to the top left, click new custom page. We wanna rename this to results. We want it to just remain on the users. And then what we wanna do is add two components. The first component is gonna be a grid. And this grid is going to be of the projects. We're gonna call this uh, something like your media. The name is going to be the name of the project. The description is going to be the requested date. We're gonna leave the meta, we don't necessarily need it. And we're gonna change the image to final. So anything with a final image is going to show up here. The size, we can make it large, um, keep it square. We can make it 16 by nine, just to make it a little bit uh, more compact. And we wanna change the title style to simple. And as you can see, this is probably in what? This is cute, so it doesn't have a final image. So what we wanna do is filter out, uh, no, not that, sorry, not visibility. We wanna filter anything where final is not empty, right? So we wanna make sure we include only the things where the final is not empty. Um, the sorting, we wanna sort it exactly how we did in the dashboard. So we wanna sort it by the sort order descending. We don't need to group it by anything, but what we can do is allow them to um, filter it by the design type name. There we go. So they can select, for example, if this was Facebook post, Instagram post, etc., etc. So then we wanna come here and we don't want them to be able to add anything. What we do wanna do is when they click on it, we want them to be able to open the actual image in high resolution. So you can see that there. And as far as I know, that's all we need to do for this. Then what we want to do is add a hint. Now you have to remember, if they have nothing in final, this entire thing won't appear and it's just going to look like a blank page. So they'll be pretty confused. So all we want to do is add a hint and I'm just going to copy this paste, copy this paste. <laughs> I'm going to copy this text, change it to neutral. And it's just a simple thing that says your request will show up here once they have been completed. And so what we want to do, we want to show this component only when the total requests completed equals zero. Now, since we have at least one here that is completed, that hint disappears. And that's all we need to do for this page. So. Let's move on to the next page, which is the account page for the user. If you enjoyed that video or you found it useful, then I highly suggest you subscribe and hit the bell icon because I have a ton of low code videos and tutorials in the pipeline for you. And if you like the idea of becoming a low code developer who can create anything their mind can imagine without code, head to lowcode.com and sign up for one of our online boot camps. See you next time.